Hello! Let's see what's in my kids' Christmas stockings this year. Do you have any traditional items that always end up in your stockings? Go ahead and leave me in the comments below. What's one just traditional item that always ends up in the stockings? For me, it is toothbrushes. There always has to be toothbrushes in the stockings and I don't actually, I haven't actually purchased the toothbrushes yet so you won't see them. I'm hoping, I'm trying to find some light up toothbrushes. My boys have had those before and they really are very exciting to have, you know, light up toothbrushes. We'll see if I end up finding those this year. But I'm gonna show you what I do have for their stockings, talk a little bit about our traditions and let's get started. This is in collaboration with Yasmin from the channel Mommy on the Move and she's gathered several homeschool moms to share our stocking stuffer ideas for this year and I hope that you enjoy. Okay, I have three-year-old and four-year-old boys and this is not everything that will be in their stocking. Like I already mentioned, the toothbrushes still need to be acquired. And I also typically wait um, as long as possible on getting the food items because we just live in a really hot place and storing candy doesn't seem to work as well. Um, it works super well. There can be a little bit of melting or just getting sticky. My husband did pick these up. These are gummy Legos. I do think there was a little bit of a mistake though. I think he should have gotten probably two. Two would be a good thing. When you have two children pretty close in age, you often end up needing to get repeats of some items, but these are like Legos that are gummies. Um, but besides that, for food items, we'll always pick out a candy or two. We always include juice boxes for a fun and special treat. And I'll probably include some pokey sticks, that um, Japanese snack, they're like sticks covered in chocolate. That's a nice special snack for my boys. Now let's talk about the activities. I like to do a mix of some craft activities, some kind of practical, semi-practical items, art supplies. So here's what we got. My sister actually picked out these for my littlest. This is the pile for my three-year-old. He has a baby doll that he really loves. And you know, these are just a classic from childhood, right? The kind of bottles where the juice or the milk disappears. She thought he would have a lot of fun with those. And then, scribble scrubbies. Have your kids had these? Have they played with these? We had these. Quite a while ago, they have somehow disappeared over the years, um, but we got one of these for each of my sons. So the little one is getting a cat, and the bigger one is getting a buffalo, a water buffalo. He's been really into like buffalo and yaks recently, so I think that one will be a hit. And these are, these are really fun. Basically, you get to draw on the animal, then you can wash it off with water, let it dry, and draw again. So scribble scrubbies for a little activity for each of them. They're also each getting a pack of the Pipsqueaks washable markers. I like these small markers from Crayola. I had a set from like five years ago and I've been gradually throwing away the markers because they've been drying out. So now we will be all stacked up and they're each getting their own set. And then these, okay, you're gonna, this might seem really weird, but this is the one that I kind of got emotional getting out when I was getting out their um, stocking stuffers but stretchy noodles, and I believe we find these at Target. I'll try to link everything down below as much as I can find on the internet. Stretchy noodles, they're basically like stretchy elastic band things that you can stretch and twist and tie and play with. My um, grandma suffers with uh, advanced dementia and we spent a lot of time with her this summer. My aunt had bought these for her as kind of a little a little toy that she could play with and just a, an activity for her during the days. And my boys, when they were spending time with my grandma, they love to play with these with her. They love to, you know, um, swing them around, to pull on them uh, and watch her reactions and their reactions as they played with these. So um, I, I hope that when they see these, they'll remember their time that they got to spend with their great grandma this summer. So uh, surprisingly emotional. <laughs> Silly little toy. Then for my oldest, he's old enough to do some more like actual crafts. So we got him this paint your own wooden dinosaurs kit and there's three of them. So that's great. It's not just gonna be a one and done. Although he might do all three in one setting knowing him. Then dinosaurs are a bit of a theme with him. Got him some dinosaur band-aids. I should probably get another box of band-aids for my little guy. They go through band-aids throughout the year, that's for sure. 
and new goggles. I was able to get these on clearance for looks like about $3. Kids goggles. Um, goggles are something we use quite a bit here in our tropical home and a pair just it doesn't last forever eventually the elastic goes out so these will be able to replace his current pair which is kind of stretching out and getting harder to use and then this one i'm really excited about i grew up sewing all the time it's still my favorite craft i've introduced him to some types of yarn and sewing crafts a little bit this is going to be a little advanced for him it says six plus it does have a sharp punch needle I've never done punch needling myself, but look, it's a dinosaur. So, you know, I had to, had to get it. Um, a punch needle dinosaur craft kit. This was from Michael's, where we picked it up. I'll, I'll see if I can link something similar, but I'm gonna get to learn how to do punch needling together with him. He does have a lot of patience, I would say, for handicrafts. I'm excited to have this. So, this is what we were going for. A couple of crafts, activities, for my little one, not so much in the crafts section because he's just kind of too little to totally understand crafts, but he did get some art supplies and toys. And then yes, we'll have the toothbrushes, juice boxes, candy, at least one or two kinds of candy, one or two kinds of snacks, a nice little stocking haul. If you want to see what big Christmas presents they are getting, I will link that video down below. And I'm also going to link to the stocking stuffer playlist. For more stocking inspiration, I love watching my friends and seeing what ideas they have and what they've found for their little ones. All right, I'll be seeing you. Bye.